Let's jump into the Metro Atlanta residential real estate update for the last seven days. In the last seven days in Metro Atlanta, there have been 1,953 new listings. That's a lot. Uh, it, it, normally during the summertime, the spring and summer, when the sales season is real hot in Metro Atlanta, we'll have 2,000, 2,200, 2,400. We're up around 2,000, and we're in the month of August. That's a big deal. We had 1,350 homes go under contract in the last week, which means we've got about 600 more listings at the end of the week on the market than we had at the beginning of the week. That's a good thing for home buyers, especially those home buyers who feel like they've been looking for the last six months or a year or even two years and have constantly uh, been too late or left out in terms of making offers on properties and getting beat out by someone else. We had 1,441 closings for the week. That's a nice active week and 1,417 homes with a price decrease. That's 1,417 homeowners, home sellers who have said to the market, I'm more interested in selling my home this week than I was last week, which means for you home buyers, it means that there could be some good opportunities out there this week that weren't there a couple of weeks ago. Good opportunity, in my opinion, for home sellers because the market is still strong. Our inventory is around 2.2 months, 2.3 months worth of inventory, which means it's still a, still a seller's market. But there is significantly more inventory on the market now this time this year than there was two years ago. Two years ago, there was two weeks worth of inventory. Today, there is a total of two months worth of inventory, which means we have four times as much inventory on the market, which I know is kind of hard to believe, but it is true. We've got a lot more inventory on the market.